freaking escalate. shop vlog day today. Uh, today we're doing uh, Morgan's Escalade, putting like a four inch uh, BDS, really nice suspension kit on it, and 37 inch projects on some uh, custom painted methods, it's gonna be badass. And then I'm doing this lift kit on a Porsche Cayenne. Um, I haven't done a lot of these, so I thought I'd vlog this whole thing, it's cool, it's got you know, some Falcons, um, nice looking wheel bronze, so now we're gonna lift, uh, like two and a half inches and I'll show you that process of what we do and we'll learn together. All right, Morgan's here and his baby is here. Enzo. Enzo is here. And Logan's asleep in the car. Oh. It's a family affair. The family ride is getting hooked up today. Yeah, mama's car. Yeah. Mama's car is gonna get got. It's gonna be a cool transformation. We can go over it. You want to go over it a little sure. bit? Sure. Okay. So, I I came to Eric with the idea of putting 37s on the thing. I think it's common to do 35s, right? Right. But I'm just in love with the projects. So, um, that's Eric's challenge, is just getting challenge, 37s yeah. on this thing and not having it sit too high. Yep. And we're going to retain all the electromagnetic ride. Yep. It's already got all the air shocks and stuff in the back for towing. So that's all good, and then and then I think we just make it a little bit higher in the front. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit higher. I have too many bro roots to not do that. You know, it needs to have a little bit. <laughs> a little of bit of bro in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our biggest biggest challenge will be the width from side to side. Um, the Chevys, you know, just make it a challenge with going bigger on the tire. Height wise, will be fine, but trying to make sure we can trim it real clean and look really good. Um, this uh, running board opens. Sometimes it, it'll hit the this so we might have to take the end cap off and trim it make it you know it doesn't hit there so the trimming will be the challenge and try to make it look stock but like you didn't trim it but it looks good and doesn't rub yeah yeah amen all right Crossmember axle extensions, crossmember drop down brackets, skid plates. Um, what it is. Alright, we found our first problem with Morgan's truck. What do we got here? Oh, a dead rat was up in this bad boy. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. <laughs> That's a big one, too. That's a big dog. I was taking a nap and uh, you turned your truck on and ripped it up. And a half inch lift on a Porsche. So it looks pretty good. I think the height turned out really good. Filled the gap properly. The front looks good. Doesn't look too high in the front uh, compared to the back. So the way it works is it's a basically, if you can see in there, it's a billet uh, strut mount that goes on top with longer studs. And in the back, it is same thing billet but it just goes in and preloads the spring and extends the shock travel uh, by a little bit it has like a shock extender on it so main thing it was really hard to do was axle geometry is getting them fully max out the axle just to get the strut in there it was a pain in the ass don't want to do a porsche again <laughs> all right so we got spindles on uh, the shortened tie rods on drop down brackets on, uh, 
I've got all the drop downs for the transfer case, uh, drop downs for um, sway bars, uh, the new uh, extension for the struts, uh, extension for the right height sensor so it runs back to right height sensor. It comes with uh, uh, spindles, all that stuff. So it's ready. Now we go to the back. Back's up next. Yeah. Take a little bit off the spring so it gets a little more bro dozer here. The bro dozer. We went about an inch, inch lower in the back. So looking good. Pry bar. A little pry bar action. Mini me. Hold it. A little more persuasion. Get up. I just had the top. First. See it in this Alright, springs in, drop down bracket, uh, remove, move the pan hard bar up, uh, shock relocations in, uh, next up we're going to do the um, shock sensor, it's going to be moved up a little bit so it's in the factory position when it's all done. So. Dog, you working or what? Damn, girl. Hey, hey, you know how to use that? You know what you're doing there? You know what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Been doing this for y'all. Oh yeah, oh, just because okay. you got a SoCal shirt? Been doing it since doing it. How you doing? You gotta kick it on camera. Thing. So yeah. sick. Hey, you alright? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Little modifications. A little bit of a, a little bit of bro stance to it. Alright guys. Yeah. 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 Are we happy? Yeah, we have matching hats too. <laughs> Look at <laughs> that. Wow. Look at that. Representing. Yeah. Alright, awesome. so we got the Escalade. We just go this way. You just gotta rotate. There we go. There it is. Yeah. It's done. Cool. So it turned out good. Oh yeah. Has a little bro stance to it. I'm a bro at heart. Yeah. So if I can keep some of my roots, yeah. you know, we're good to go. Right. And the projects was the call. It looks super good with the projects. Yeah. Letters in. Letters in. All black. Classic. Clean. Yep. Um, I don't think I'm. I've never done an Escalade like this. 37s on an Escalade, it's very unique. But it looks good. I'd say it worked out pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty sick. All right, so we finished the truck. Morgan's Escalade is looking good. So uh, it's basically about five to six in the front. Um, maybe three to four in the back. Got a nice little bro Cali look. Uh, did a lot of trimming to fit the 37s. Um, we're gonna recap this, put the cap back on, trim it out there. Looks good. So that's the end of this vlog. See you on the next one.